All right, so I've been dailing the Civic for quite a while now. Even off-roading it a little bit. You know, she's a little dirty. Probably could use a wash up. But as you can see, you know, everybody knows we missing a fender. And basically I ordered two fenders, bam. Got two brand new fenders for both sides. So basically what I'm about to do is pop this hood and put on some fenders, you know? Got the old fender bolts. I don't know if I have all the bolts here, but if I don't, we have a zip ties. <laughs> but uh, you know how it is, boys. I'll just put the bolts on top and like zip tie the bumper to the thing and make the bumper fit more look better. And then basically we should be goaded. And then I have to do the other side also, but the other side, I don't know, buddy. The other side probably didn't need to be replaced, but if you look, it's kind of scratched. You can tell where they try to bondo it a little bit. There's a couple of dents in it. And like, if you look at it, I mean, honestly, like, screw this fender. And it's like a little warped. And whenever you open the door, I think it's self cleared. Oh, and actually, no, it didn't look. It like rubs up against the fender and like kind of takes me off but i'm gonna be doing those fenders and besides that on body it needs a passenger side door back doors back bumper everything else is perfectly good it's just the front end that's messed up like the hood you know you could probably re you could probably find a way to fix it but honestly, I think I'd rather just buy a new one just to keep the clean aesthetic or whatever. And the bumper has a big crack in it. But besides that, the bumper's in pretty good shape. So you could probably reuse that bumper. But since it has a big crack in it and I'm kind of going for looks right now. Or trying to improve looks. I'd probably buy a new bumper. And since after the fenders are installed, I'm thinking hood and bumper and save up for a paint job. Yeah, of course, probably we'll need to get like the trim pieces and like the plastic pieces that go like right here and like some of the plastic pieces look just kind of worn out, but on seals and stuff. But hey, if it ain't waterproof, oh well, I just want it to look good. That's all I want. But anyway, boys, I'm going to get started on uh, trying to put this junk on. All right, so, all right, so basically... I somehow came out with two extra screws. I don't know how I came out with two extra screws, but if you ask me, I think we're looking good. Yeah, she's a little dirty, got a lot of fingerprints. But hey, I got the top three bolts in. And the only bolt that I know that I didn't, wasn't able to get in was this one. It's like at a weird angle. For some reason it wasn't lining up right and I couldn't get it to start. But I'm questioning if I push it hard enough, if I could maybe angle it right. Uh, I got that screw down there and there's one behind that plastic that I got. And then after that, I would just zip tie the bumper up. Uh, the fitment should be pretty good and then besides that my drill battery is running on its last life because <laughs> i forgot to charge it but i think i'm gonna play with this little screw hole maybe try to force it in Just maybe but so far like it closes perfectly there's no like scrubbing or anything yeah so i mean they're pretty good and you know honestly it lines up pretty good i think honestly but i mean hey and then yeah that's about it but i'm gonna try to get that one little screw in right there and see if i can make a difference 
all I had to do was cock the door back and get it started with my hands and a little pushing and like flexing. You know, I got it to go in there. But once I got it started straight, I just had to angle the ratchet at like an angle and just twist it in there. Cause I am not taking the door off for a little bitty screw. And yeah, I think everything lines up just about perfectly. Um, to be honest, I think the gap is a little wide right there. Because if you look at the rest of the gaps, you can't really see much. But like, I mean, honestly, I'm not complaining. Like if you get it a paint job and like put the little rubber plastic pieces on it that it's supposed to, that are supposed to be on it. I mean, it looks pretty fire. So I'm gonna try to um, zip tie these up now and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the other side off and get started on the other side. All right, so basically I'm pretty sure the hood is bent. That's why it's up, if you look. I think the hood is bent. I don't know though. But I got the bumper fitment a little bit better. But yeah, I think this hood is just really dented. But let's see if it does the door thing still. Oh. Dang, okay, okay, now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, never mind, never mind. Oh, what is, what is it getting stuck on? Oh. That's some bull crap. So it's like too good. Oh, let's see, look at that. No, bro. Oh my God. Okay, so just to be clear, it was doing that stupid door thing before I ever decided to um, put the new fenders on it. I don't know why I was doing that, but I just figured out why. And basically, whoever put fenders on it or somebody else must, they had to have get into like a fender bender or something kind of wreck or something. They had to have hit something because definitely the fenders were definitely replaced. Because if you look, that one's dented up where they try to save it. But what I did was I loosened all the nuts that I have in it, or bolts that I have in it already. Found out that you can see where there's a little bit of metal shavings. That's where I tried to back the bolt out and all I did was spin. So whoever had it before me had already stripped that hole right there. Cause there wasn't even a bolt in there. Whenever I took the old one off, it was just gone. So this hole was stripped. These two tightened up perfectly. I got a zip tie that I need to tighten up a little bit more. And then once I get a new bumper, I'll just bolt it down the right way and make the fitment even better. But for here, there's a bolt inside the door and there's one on the bottom side and there's one underneath this plastic down here. And basically I loosened all those bolts and just kept like pushing and shoving with the door. And now, nothing so basically whoever installed the fenders last before me did the same exact thing and they didn't align the fender right and basically it was barely scrubbing on the door so now my fenders don't hit the doors so we're good so after observing the civic i'm starting to wonder if it hasn't been in a wreck before i got it or something because there's no way this car like why does it have so many dents and the fitment's all messed up like the little hanger thing was bent up there to put the fenders on. So I have a theory that it could have been maybe slightly wrecked before. So I'm just gonna assume there's something up with the door. And I'm gonna take care of this right now. So like, actually, I don't know. Maybe if I just give it a little. That's a hard, that's a hard door.